Hello everyone, this is Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is part one of the antique Christmas afghan. So let me tell you all there is to know about this afghan and then we'll get started. So before we get started on the Christmas afghan, I want to show you the Christmas afghan and tell you a little bit about the afghan. Because when I first showed the design and how I was putting it together, and then I found out Premier Yarn discontinued the yarn, I kind of panicked and was trying to come up with a material list based on what I thought. I wasn't far enough along to really figure it all out, so I designed the blanket around what I told everybody to buy. So what happened was I planned on making it four by six, which I did make it four by six, but I found that it was really long. It's about 73 inches long by 45 inches wide. So I'm going to show you the afghan, but what I did when I wrote the instructions, I wrote it for two different sizes. I wrote it for four by five, which is 45 inches across by about 63 inches long or 62. And then I wrote it for four by six, which is 45 inches wide by 73 inches long. So if you have someone that's really tall, the 73 inch one, it's really big, it's really long, it's going past my feet and going across my floor. But if you didn't want to make it 73 inches long, what you can do is you can make the afghan four by five and then make the other squares because I made 24 squares. You can get away with 20 squares, still have a beautiful afghan that's 45 by 62, I believe it was. And then you can make the other squares and maybe make matching pillows. So I just wanted to make that clear because I wrote a short afghan and a long afghan. And I do think that the 4x5 is probably the better uh, apportioned size for the afghan. But I made it 4x6. That's how much yarn I had. So that's the size I made it. So in the instructions, there will be two different sizes. So let me go over the material list of what I used in the Premier yarn first, and then I'll show you some yarns I ordered in that I think would make really good substitutes, and you would get almost the same effect. First, I used one skein of the Premier Cotton Big Glitz. This is the green gold, so you need one skein of the green gold. And let me read the information, because this is what's important. You're going to need 490 yards of the green gold or whatever color green you choose. So go by the yardage 490 yards per skein of what we're using. So one skein of the green gold. The next color you're going to need is the red gold and you're going to need two skeins of the red gold. Now remember you got to take 490 yards times the amount of skeins which would be two and that comes out to be 980 yards that you're going to need of the red gold. So however many skeins times it by 490 yards. So two skeins of the red gold. And then I use four skeins of the cream gold. So again, you're going to take 490 yards times four, and that gives you the yardage that you're going to need to figure out if you purchase a different yarn, what you're going to need. Now I'm making this out of the cotton glitz, but you can make this out of an acrylic or, you know, super saver. You don't have to use the glitter yarn. You can use any four worsted weight yarn to make this afghan. So I wanted to make that clear because uh, a lot of people do use those bigger skeins like the Lion Brand One Pounders or, you know, any of those big ones in the acrylic. They'll work just as well, maybe be a little more affordable to make. So a lot of people, thank you to all my subscribers who emailed me with places that had glitter yarn. So the next place, I'm not sure who emailed me, several people emailed me and said Hobby Lobby had the glitch yarn. Now, I ordered it in, but what I found with Hobby Lobby was they had red, green, and white with silver, but the only one they had with gold was this one. And this one almost matches perfectly. They're pretty close. 
but the rest of the colors had silver in it. So it would be up to you whether you wanted to change it to red, white, and green and use all silver, or if you wanted to use the silver and gold together. Let me give you the information about Hobby Lobby, and this is the I Love This Yarn Metallic. So I didn't get a chance to go to the store. I had to order it online. So my packing slip says I paid $4.99. So let me read about it. It's called I Love This Yarn Metallic. It's made in Turkey. This is color 732 Ivory. It's a five ounce skein. There's 252 yards. 230 meters. It's 97% acrylic, 3% metallic polyester. So it would work just as well. And I love using acrylics, but I didn't have this yarn. So the only yarn I found was the Cotton Premier. So that's why I use that. But this acrylic, I think would work, you know, absolutely wonderful. Now, again, I use 490 yards of this so this is 252 yards so you're going to need two skeins of the i love this yarn for every one skein that i used over here so two skeins to every one so that's the ivory and then this red is color number 736 red and you can see how it has that silver I love this green. This is just a little bit brighter green. This is color number 744 Jelly Bean, but it's a little bit brighter than the cotton. So if you wanted to use them all with silver, then you're going to have to change it to white. It won't look as antique-ish, but it'll look very traditional and very pretty if you use the white. And this is color number 730 White, and that is the white and silver. So let me put them all up there together so you can see whether you like the ivory or if you like the white, if you choose to buy from Hobby Lobby. So that yarn is available at Hobby Lobby. So the next yarn, this again was a yarn that my subscribers emailed me and told me about. So again, I wanna say thank you. Now they did not have the cream color, so it's going to be the basic red, white, and green. But the yarn is extraordinary. It is truly beautiful. Now, I just, I just made a mistake. The white does have gold in it. So let me show you this yarn. This yarn is from Mary Maxim. They're an online craft store. I've dealt with them for years. It's a wonderful company. I never had a problem with ordering from Mary Maxim. And also, my Hobby Lobby order came very quickly. Very happy with that. So no problems ordering from either company. So this is called the Mary Maxim Starlight Sparkles. Now what I liked about this yarn was that the red had red sparkles in it, the green had green sparkles, and then they had a white with gold. But they went together very well because it the, the glitter matched the color of the yarn, so to speak. So the white with gold kind of went really nice with everything because of the fact that the red and green had the same color glitter. And then they had this gold color. And I ordered this in because I thought if I would have seen this first, I really like this because I think I would have almost got the same effect. But the center of the flower right here, I thought that would have been pretty if I use like a yellow color for the inside of that flower. So I wanted to show it to you just in case anyone wanted to put like maybe a, it's, it's almost like a goldish yellow color in the center of those flowers. I think that would really kind of add a little, you know, what do I want to say? Um, <laughs> to the design. But let me tell you about the yarn again. It's Mary Maxim Starlight Sparkles. And this is made in Turkey. It's 196 yards. This is 196 yards, 180 meters, 98% acrylic, 2% polyester, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces. So again, this was 490 yards, so you have to match this up. So you would need three skeins of this 
for every one skein of this. But the funny thing was, I thought, oh my goodness, that's going to be more expensive. But this was only $2.99, so I paid $8.99 for this. So it comes out to be the same price, whether you buy one skein of this or three skeins of that. So don't let that scare you. Yes, this was $2.99, so very, very affordable and very, very pretty. So this is the color Ruby, and you can see there's that red and there's that red glitter in the yarn. The next one is Emerald, so isn't that pretty? Can you see how that green glitter goes through that? And then this one is white. It's white and it has gold. There's gold in there. It, it doesn't look gold on my monitor, but that is gold uh, metallic running through that. I hope it's showing up gold. So that's gold metallic running through that. And then this one is color number topaz and this I'm just showing you because I did think that would be really pretty for the center of the flowers for round one just do round one with like a yellow to really make those flowers pop and look a little more Christmassy so those are the substitute yarns here are the three the red white and green and then if you wanted to use the topaz in the center they go beautifully together so sorry I took so long going over the yarn. I just know how hard it is when you're really trying to find a substitute and I was looking in all the wrong places and I was really getting frustrated. So I do want to say thank you, thank you to all the subscribers who emailed me and pointed me in the right direction. Now again, because I got sidetracked, I'm just going to go over what I actually used for the afghan. You're going to need one skein of the green gold, two skeins of the red gold, and four skeins of the cream gold. You're also going to need a size I9 crochet hook and a yarn needle for weaving in all your ends. So let's jump right in and let's get this afghan started. So for part one, we're going to be making just the blocks. In part two of the antique Christmas afghan, we're going to be putting our blocks together and adding that border to the afghan. So today our block is going to measure roughly about 11 and a quarter to 11 and a half inches depending on how you crochet. If you crochet tight it might be a touch smaller. If you crochet loose it might be a tad bigger. To begin we're going to chain four. You're going to yarn over the hook and pull through the loop that creates your first chain. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain two, three, and four. We're going to join with the slip stitch into the fourth chain from hook to form a ring. Insert into that beginning chain of that chain four and slip stitch. So now when I work my first round, I'm just going to take this piece of yarn from starting my chain and just hold it up against my work and I'll be crocheting through the center of the ring and right around that piece of yarn. So we're going to start round one and we're going to chain one. You're going to single crochet in the center of the ring and then we're going to chain two and we're going to do that eight times. So I'm going to work my stitches and count as I'm working those eight sets. So let's begin. Insert into the center of the ring and work a single crochet. Chain two. That's one insert back into the center of that ring, work a single crochet, chain two, and that is two of eight. Insert back into the center of your ring, work a single crochet, chain two, and that's three. Now what I do is I usually pull my stitches back as I go and keep them nice and tight so you have plenty of room to work. Insert back into the center of the ring, single crochet, chain two, and that's four. Insert into the center of the ring, single crochet, chain two, that's five of eight. And again, I'm crocheting right around this piece of yarn as well. Insert into the center of the ring, single crochet, 
chain two, that's six, insert back into the center of the ring, single crochet, chain two, that's seven, just going to pull my stitches back, insert into the center of the ring, single crochet, chain two, and that's eight. We end with that chain two, and now we're going to come over and we're going to slip stitch into the top of this beginning single crochet. Insert under the top two loops of that first single crochet, yarn over, pull through the stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. Now I'm going to fasten off my work, now I'm just going to let my ends hang and I'll weave them in when I'm all finished but it's up to you whether you want to weave them in as you go and save time but for video purposes I'm just going to leave mine hang for now. So now I'm going to set aside the cream gold and you're going to grab your green gold. I have my green gold and I already attached it to my hook and I'm getting ready to attach my new color to my work. Now if you have a preferred method of attaching your new color then by all means use whatever method you prefer. I insert into any chain 2 space, it doesn't matter which one, I yarn over, pull through the chain 2 space and pull through the loop on my hook and this just creates a nice secure join of my new color. So now I'm going to chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going to work a two double crochet cluster, a chain two and a two double crochet cluster all into the same chain two space. Yarn over, insert into that chain two space, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops only which creates your first double crochet leaving the last loop of that stitch on your hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain two space, yarn over and pull through. You now have four loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have three loops on your hook, and when you look at your work, this is your chain one which does not count as a stitch and you have two double crochet leaving the last loop of each stitch on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You're going to chain two, one, two, and now we're going to pull this back and you're going to work two double crochet together which is your cluster in the same chain two space. Yarn over, insert back into that chain two space, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops only. That is your first double crochet leaving the last loop on your hook. So we need to do that again. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain two space, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops only. When you look at your work, again you have two double crochet leaving the last loop of each stitch on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So your cluster, chain two cluster is made. So we're just going to repeat this in each chain two space around. So let's do it again, again this is the start of the repeat. Yarn over, work two double crochet leaving the last loop on the hook. There's one, yarn over, insert back into that chain two space, you're working a double crochet but you're leaving the last loop on the hook. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You're going to chain two, yarn over, insert back into that chain two space, work two double crochet leaving that last loop on the hook. You just do not finish the stitch. Yarn over, insert back into that space, work a double crochet leaving the last loop on the hook. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. And again you have your cluster, a chain two and your cluster stitch. So let's do it again. This time I'm going to walk you step by step you're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain two space, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have two loops remaining on your hook. Yarn over, insert back into that chain two space, yarn over and pull through. 
You have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You're going to chain two, and now we're getting ready to make one more of those clusters in that same chain two space. Yarn over, insert back into that chain two space, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have your first double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain two space, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops only. When you look at your work, you have your two double crochet leaving those last loops on your hook. You have three loops, you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And this creates your cluster shell of a cluster, chain two, and a cluster stitch. So let me show you one more time and then you can continue on your own. Again, this is the start of the repeat, so let's begin. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain two space, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops only. Yarn over, insert back into that chain two space, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You're going to chain two. Now we need to make one more cluster into that same chain two space. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain two, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops only. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain two space, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops only. When you look at your work, you have two double crochet leaving the last loop of each stitch on the hook. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. And again, when you look at your work, you have a cluster, chain two, cluster in the chain two space. Cluster, chain two, cluster in the chain two space. So you're going to repeat that around. So if you need help, click back on the video and repeat a double crochet cluster, chain two, double crochet cluster in each chain two space around. And I'll meet you at the end of round two. I'm over at the end of round two. This is what your work should look like. And you should have a cluster, chain two, cluster in each chain two space around and now we're getting ready to join our round. You're going to join with the slip stitch and you're just going to come up to the top of this cluster. You're going to see this pretty large stitch right here so you're just going under the top two loops of that beginning cluster and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that cluster stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. You're going to fasten off your green so I'm just going to let my ends hang for now. So now we're going to begin round three. So you need to grab your red gold yarn. Now we're ready to start round three. We're going to be working our large red petals of our flower. So I joined my red gold on my hook. And again, you can use whichever method you prefer to join your yarn. I'm going to insert into any chain two space. And then we're going to slip stitch, yarn over, pull through the chain two space and pull through the loop on your hook. And this makes a nice secure join of your new color. We're going to begin with the chain three, one, two, three. And this counts as the first triple in our set of three. So the first cluster or puff stitch we make is going to be made differently than the rest. You're going to yarn over twice, insert into that same chain two space, yarn over, pull through. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You just made your first triple, leaving the last loop on the hook. We need to do that again. Yarn over twice, insert into that same chain two space, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops only, 
yarn over and pull through two loops only. We have our three triple stitches, we have three loops on the hook, and now we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. And again, this first petal is made differently than the rest. So now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. We're going to skip this next cluster here, and we're going to work between the skip cluster and the next cluster. You're going right into the space between those two cluster stitches. We're going to work three triple, leaving the last loop on the hook. So yarn over twice, insert between the skipped cluster and that next cluster right into that space, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops only, yarn over and pull through two. You're leaving the last loop of that first triple stitch on your hook. We need to do that two more times, yarn over twice, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You now have five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops only. Yarn over and pull through two loops only. You now have two triple leaving the last loop of each stitch on your hook. We need to do that one more time. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You now have six loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops only. Yarn over, pull through two loops only. When you look at your work, you're going to have three triple stitches with the last loop of each stitch on the hook, and then you have your extra loop over here for a total of four loops. You're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on the hook. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. So now we're going to start the repeat. We're just going to repeat the three triple cluster or puff stitch with the chain three in each chain two space and in between each cluster around. So if you need help, you're going to click back on the video to this point where I say this is the start of the repeat. So let's begin. You're going to yarn over twice. You're going to insert into that next chain two space yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two loops only, yarn over and pull through two loops. You made your first triple leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same chain two space, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops only, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your second triple leaving the last loop on the hook and you have three loops on the hook. We need to do that one more time. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same space, that same chain two space, yarn over, pull back through. You now have six loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. When you look at your work, you're going to have three triple with the last loop of each stitch on the hook, and then you have your extra loop. So you have a total of four loops, yarn over and pull through all four loops on the hook. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Now we're going to repeat the three triple puff stitch in between the next two clusters below. So you're skipping the next cluster and we're working right into the center space between those two clusters. So let's begin, yarn over twice, you're skipping that next cluster and you're going between the skip cluster and the next cluster right into that space, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two loops only, yarn over and pull through two loops. You made your first triple, leaving the last loop on the hook. You're going to yarn over twice, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You now have five loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, pull through two loops only, 
yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have two triple made, leaving the last loop of each stitch on your hook. You have a total of three loops. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You now have a total of six loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and when you look at your work, you now have three triple with the last loop of each stitch on your hook. You have your extra loop for a total of four loops. You're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. So that is the end of the repeat. So if you need help, just click back on the video. You're going to start the repeat by working a three triple cluster in the next chain two space and chain three. Then you're going to skip the next cluster and you're going to insert between the skip cluster and the next cluster and you're going to work a three triple cluster or puff stitch and a chain three and you're going to repeat that around. So again, if you need help, just click back on the video, repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round three. I'm over at the end of round three. This is what your work should look like and you should have a total of 16 petals around your work and 16 chain three spaces. When you get to the end of the round, you should have ended with a chain three and now we're going to finish our round and slip stitch into the top of that beginning three triple cluster puff stitch. So follow the middle stitch right up to the top and you're going to insert under the top two loops of that stitch and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. Now I'm just going to fasten off my red gold now when I fasten off, I always chain two, pull my hook up, pull the yarn out, grab the yarn, pinch, pull down, and it just creates a nice secure knot. So now we're going to start round four. So we're going back to our cream gold. So grab your cream gold and let's get started on round four. Now we're ready to begin round four. Now with round four, we're going to take our circle and we're starting to form it into a square. So we're going to be working several different stitches. We're going to be working a half double crochet, a double crochet, and a triple crochet in order to start forming this into a square. So I have my cream gold attached to my hook and again you can join your yarn in whichever method you prefer. Now I'm going to join in any chain three space so it doesn't matter which one as long as it's a chain three space. So I'm inserting into the first chain three space and I'm just going to slip stitch yarn over pull back through that chain three and pull through the loop on my hook and this just creates a really nice secure joining of my new color. We're going to begin and we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And this beginning chain four will count as our first triple crochet. Now we're going to work two more triple into the same chain three space, yarn over twice, insert into that chain three space, yarn over, pull through, you have four loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. You just made your first triple crochet. We're going to work one more triple into the same chain three space, yarn over twice, insert back into that chain three, and work your triple crochet. You're going to pull your stitches over, you're going to chain two, one, two and now we're going to work three more triple into this same chain three space and this is forming our corner. Yarn over twice, insert into that same chain three space and work three triple crochet. That's one. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same chain three space, work a triple crochet. That's two. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same chain three space, 
work a triple crochet. And that's three. And this forms the corner of our square. Next, we're going to work three double crochet into the next chain three space. So yarn over once, insert into the next chain three space, yarn over, pull through, you have three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. That is how you make a double crochet. We need to make two more double crochet into that same chain three space. Yarn over, insert into that same space, work a double crochet. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain three space, work a double crochet. So you work three double crochet into that chain three space. Next, we're going to work two half double crochet into the next chain three space. Yarn over, insert into the next chain three space, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You just made a half double crochet. We need to do that one more time. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain three space, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And when you look at your work, you can see how our square, the top of our square is starting to form where we're going straight across. And that's why we're using longer and then shorter and then shorter stitches. So now we're going to be doing the reverse and we're going to put the three double crochet into the next chain three space and then we're going to work our corner into the next which forms the top with the two corners. So let's continue. We're going to work three double crochet into this next chain three space. Yarn over, insert into the next chain three space, work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over, insert back into that chain three space, work your second double crochet. Yarn over, insert back into that chain three space and work your third double crochet. So that is one part of our square. So now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat this section around the remaining four sides. So if you need help, this is the point of the video where this is the start of the repeat. So you would click back to this point where we start the corner and then you're going to work until I say this is the end of the repeat and then you repeat that around the remaining sides. So let's begin the repeat. We're going to work three triple crochet, a chain two, and three triple crochet into this next chain three space. Yarn over twice, insert into the next chain three space, work three triple crochet. There's one. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same space, work your second triple crochet. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same space and work your triple crochet or treble. I was told and taught triple. A lot of people call it a treble, so uh, whichever way you call it. So now we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to work three more triple crochet into this chain three space. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same space, work three triple crochet. One, two, yarn over twice, insert back into that same space, work your third triple crochet. So when you look at your work, you just formed your corner three triple, a chain two, and three triple to form the corner to go around the next side of our circle. Now we're going to work three double crochet into this next chain three space. Yarn over once, insert into the next chain three space, work your double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same chain three space, work your second double crochet. 
yarn over once, insert back into that chain three space, work your third double crochet. You have a total of three double crochet into that chain three space. So now we're going to work two half double crochet into the next chain three space. Yarn over, insert into that next chain three space, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. That's your first half double crochet. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain three space, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. That is your second half double crochet. Next, we're going to work three double crochet into this next chain three space. Yarn over once, insert into that next chain three space, work three double crochet. One, yarn over, insert back into that same chain three space, work your second double crochet. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain three space, work your third double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So when you look at your work, we started with our corner of three triple, chain two, three triple. Then you work three double crochet into the next chain three space, two half double crochet into the next, and then three double crochet into the next chain three space, and that formed our first side. And then we repeated. We did three triple, chain two, and three triple in the corner. Then we worked three double crochet into the next chain three space, two half double crochet into the next, and three double crochet into the next. And that is the end of the repeat. So the start of the repeat is where we start in the corner with the three triple, chain two, three triple, work across until you get to the next corner. So you can see how our square is starting to form. So go ahead, click back on the video. You're going to start here at the corner and you're going to work at your corner and then across to the next corner. So just follow the video. You're going to start here, repeat that repeat two times, and I'll meet you at the end of round four. I'm over at the end of round four. This is what your work should look like. You have those three triple chain two, three triple in the corner with three double crochet, two half double crochet, and three double crochet. And you repeated that around your circle and it created your square. So now you ended that repeat with three double crochet into that last chain three space. So we're just going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain four. So you're going to count up to the top of the beginning chain chain four. Now the first one is kind of down here. So one, two, three, four. Insert your hook and slip stitch together. Yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. So round four is finished and now we're going to go ahead and start round five. Round five we're going to start with the chain three. One, two, three. And this beginning chain three will count as your first double crochet. We're going to double crochet in each stitch to the next corner chain two space. So yarn over, insert into that next stitch, and I'm working under both of those top two loops. Work a double crochet. Yarn over, insert into that next stitch. Work a double crochet. So now we're over to the corner chain two space and this is where we're going to start our repeat. So if you need help with round five, this is where you would start the repeat where I say this is the start of the repeat and you work until I say this is the end of the repeat. So let's begin. You're going to yarn over, insert into that corner chain two space, work two double crochet. One, Yarn over, insert back into that corner chain two space, work your second double crochet. You're going to chain two, and now we're going to work two more double crochet into this same corner chain two space. Yarn over, insert into that corner chain two, work two double crochet. One, and two. 
and when you look at your work your corner is made and now we're going down the next side of our square. We're going to work one double crochet in each stitch across to the next corner chain two space. So let's begin. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. And I'm just going to go ahead and work the double crochet stitches with you across to the next corner chain two space. You're working one double crochet in each stitch across to that corner. Again, you're working one double crochet in each stitch across your block until you get to the next corner chain two space. And just take your time make sure you have consistent gauge with your work you still have plenty of time to get this made before Christmas so I'm over to the corner chain two space and this ends our repeat so it's a very simple repeat for this round Again, click back on the video and you're going to start in the corner and you're going to work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in each corner, chain two space, and then you're going to work one double crochet in each stitch across to the next corner, chain two space. So again, if you need help, just click back on the video, repeat from the corner of two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and then one double crochet in each stitch to the next corner, chain two space around the remaining three sides, and I'll meet you at the end of round five. I'm over at the end of round five. I worked around all four sides of my block and now I'm back over to the beginning chain three. So we're just going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three, insert your hook into the top of that chain three and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. So round five is complete, and now we're going to start round six. Now round six is exactly the same as round five. We're going to work one double crochet in each stitch across to the corner chain two space, and then we're going to work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet into the corner chain two space. So let me get you started on round six. You're going to begin with the chain three one two and three the beginning chain three counts as your first double crochet we're going to work one double crochet in each stitch across to our corner chain two space yarn over insert into the next stitch and remember to go under both of the top loops work a double crochet double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch now we're over to our corner chain two space and this is where you're going to start your repeat you're going to work two double crochet chain two and two double crochet into the corner chain two space so again if you need help this is where you would click back on the video you're going to yarn over insert into the corner chain two space work two double crochet one and two you're going to chain two which forms your corner and then we're going to work two more double crochet into the same corner chain two space Yarn over, insert back into that space, 
work two double crochet. One and two. We're going to work one double crochet in each stitch across to the next corner. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next. Double crochet into the next stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and work my double crochet, one double crochet in each stitch across to the next corner. So I'll just work right along with you. Very simple round. We're about halfway. And if I'm crocheting too fast, you can just pause the video, continue working, and when you catch up, just press the button again and the video will start. few more stitches to go and we'll be at our corner chain 2 space. So I'm over at the next corner chain 2 space and this is the end of the repeat. So let me lay my work down. So again, you're going to start here in the corner where we did two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. You'll do that in the next corner chain two space. And then you're going to work one double crochet in each stitch down to the next corner chain two space. And you're going to repeat that around all three sides until you get back to your beginning chain three. So if you need help, again, click back on the video continue around and I will meet you at the end of round six. I'm over at the end of round six. This is what your work should look like. You have the two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in each corner chain two space and then one double crochet in each stitch across to the next corner chain two space. So now we're going to go ahead and join and we're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three, insert your hook into the top of that chain three, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. So round six is finished, and now we're going to start round seven. Now with round seven, we're going to be working in between the stitches. We're going to be working down here in between the post of the stitches. So it's made just a little bit differently than these rounds, just to give it a little more interest. So let's begin round seven. To begin round seven, we're going to skip this beginning chain three, and you want to insert your hook between the first joining stitch and the next stitch. We're going right in between the post of those stitches, and we're going to slip stitch. Now we're ready to begin. We're going to start in chain three. One, two, three, and this beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. We're going to work one more double crochet into this same space, yarn over, insert back between those two stitches, and work a double crochet. We're going to skip the next two stitches, and we're going to work two double crochet between the last skip stitch and the next stitch. So yarn over, skip the next two stitches, insert between the skip two stitches and that next stitch right between the post, and work two double crochet. One, and two. We're going to do that again. You're going to yarn over, skip the next two stitches, 
insert between the skip two and the next stitch right between the post, work two double crochet. One, and two. So now we're at our corner chain two space and this is where we're going to start the repeat. So if you need help, this is where you're going to click back on the video and you will repeat where I say this is the start of the repeat until I say this is the end of the repeat and you're going to repeat that around the remaining sides of your block. So let's begin the repeat. We're going to start and we're going to work two double crochet, a chain two and two double crochet into this corner chain two space. Yarn over, insert into the corner chain two, work two double crochet, one, and two. You're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to work two more double crochet into the same corner chain two space. Yarn over, insert back into that corner chain two, work two double crochet, one and two. Now we're going to work two double crochet between each set of two stitches across to the next corner. Yarn over, skip the next two stitches, insert between the skip two and that next stitch, work two double crochet, one and two. Yarn over, skip the next two stitches, insert between the skip two and that next stitch, work two double crochet. And again, we're not going into the top of the stitches, we're going right underneath and beside the post of those stitches. Yarn over, skip the next two stitches, insert between the skip two and that next stitch right between the post, work two double crochet, one and two. And we're going to repeat this across to the next corner chain two space. Yarn over, skip the next two stitches, insert between the skip two and that next stitch right between the post, work two double crochet, one and two. Yarn over, skip the next two stitches, insert between the skip two and the next stitch, work two double crochet, one and two. So I'm going to work right along with you right to the corner, yarn over, skip the next two stitches, insert between the skip two and the next stitch, work two double crochet, one and two. Yarn over, skip the next two stitches, insert between the skip two and the next stitch, work two double crochet. And I hate repeating myself so much, but sometimes it's just easier to see the repeat so you kind of get it in your mind of what you're doing. So we're almost to the corner. Yarn over, skip two stitches, insert between the skip two and that next stitch, work two double crochet. One and two. Yarn over, skip the next two stitches, insert between the skip two and that next stitch, and work two double crochet. One and two. Yarn over, skip the next two stitches, insert between the skip two and that next stitch, and work two double crochet. One and two. So when you look at your work, you'll notice you still have two stitches remaining, but you're at your corner chain two space. So now this is the end of the repeat. So let me lay my work down and you can see you're going to click back on the video and you're going to start in the corner and work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet into your next corner chain two space, which starts the repeat. And then you're going to skip two stitches, work two double crochet between the skip two and the next stitch, and you're going to repeat that 
across to within two stitches from that corner chain two and then you're going to start all over and repeat around the remaining sides until you get back to your beginning chain three so if you need help just click back on the video it'll walk you step by step around the remaining sides and I'll meet you at the end of round seven I'm over at the end of round seven this is what your work should look like and when you get to the beginning you have two stitches down here remaining you skip those two stitches and we're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three insert into the top of that chain three count up one two three insert your hook and slip stitch yarn over pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook so now we're done with round seven i'm going to fasten off my cream gold and then we're going to switch to our green gold and start round eight. Now we're ready to begin round eight. So we're starting with our green gold. I already have it attached to my hook. And again, you can use whichever method you prefer to attach your yarn. So I'm going up here to my corner chain two space. It doesn't matter which one you start in. You can start in any of the four corners. So I'm just going to go up here and just start up here and I'm going to join my yarn with a slip stitch. So again, you can use whichever method you prefer. I insert my hook, yarn over, pull through that chain two space and pull through the loop on my hook and it just creates a nice secure join of your new color. To begin, we're going to chain three, one, two, three and this beginning chain three will count as the first double crochet we're going to work one double crochet chain two and two double crochet into this corner chain two space yarn over insert back into that corner chain two work a double crochet you're going to chain two now we're going to work two more double crochet into this same corner chain two space yarn over insert back into that corner chain two work two double crochet one and two and when you look at your work you can see how it makes our corner now we're going to chain one skip the next double crochet and double crochet into the next stitch and we're going to repeat that across to the next corner so i'm going to go ahead and work it right with you you're going to chain one yarn over skip the next stitch insert into the next stitch work a double crochet chain one yarn over skip the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch chain one yarn over skip the next stitch insert into the next stitch work a double crochet and again that's all we're going to do across to the next corner chain one yarn over skip the next stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch chain one skip the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch chain one skip the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch chain one skip the next stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip the next stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip the next stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip the next stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip the next stitch double crochet into the next now we're over to our corner chain two space but we need to chain one so go ahead and chain one and then we're back 
to the corner chain two space and this is where we're going to start our repeat for the remaining three sides so I'm going to go ahead and work it right along with you one more time and then you can continue on your own so again this is where you're going to click back on the video if you need help to where I say this is the start of the repeat and work until I say this is the end of the repeat and then repeat that around your remaining sides so let's begin you're going to yarn over insert into that corner chain two space work two double crochet one and two you're going to chain two we're going to work two more double crochet into that corner chain two space one and two now we're going to chain one skip a stitch and double crochet into the next stitch and we're going to repeat that across to the next corner so let's begin chain one skip the next stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip the stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip a stitch double crochet into the next and again we're just going to repeat that across to the next corner chain one skip the next stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip a stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip a stitch double crochet into the next so now I'm just going to go ahead and work it instead of repeating myself so I'm just going to work right across with you to the corner again we're chaining one we're skipping a stitch and double crocheting into the next and you're just going to repeat that across to the corner when you work across and you get to your next corner chain two space you have to end your repeat with a chain one so very important you put that chain one in when you get to the end of that side and you get to your corner chain two space so that is the end of the repeat you're going to go ahead and start in your corner and you're going to work two double crochet chain two two double crochet into that next corner chain two space and then you're going to chain one skip a stitch double crochet into the next across until you get to that corner chain two space and you're going to end with a chain one so go ahead if you need help click back on the video repeat around the remaining two sides and i'll meet you at the end of round eight I'm over at the end of round eight. This is what your block should look like so far. We only have two rounds to go and then our block will be finished. So again, you work those two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet into the corner. You have a chain one, you skip the stitch, double crochet into the next, you work that across to the next corner and you should end with a chain one. So I worked around all four sides and now I'm back up to the beginning. So when you look at your work you should have a double crochet into the last stitch around and you need to end with a chain one so now we're going to go up and we're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three count up one two three insert your hook into the top of that chain three and slip stitch so now we are done with the green gold so I'm going to go ahead and fasten off and then we're going to switch back to the red gold so go ahead and grab your red gold and I'll be back and we'll start round nine now we're ready to begin round nine so we're going to join our red gold in any corner chain two space it doesn't matter but I'm just going right up here where I fastened off 
and again use whichever method you prefer to join your yarn. I already have my yarn attached to my hook with a double knot. I'm going to insert into that corner chain two space, yarn over, pull through that space, and then pull through the loop on my hook. We're going to begin the round and we're going to chain one. Now this chain one does not count as a stitch. So we're going to start our repeat right at this point in our corner. So again, the chain one does not count as part of the repeat. You're going to start and you're going to single crochet into the same corner chain two space. You're going to chain two insert back into that corner chain two and work a single crochet. We're going to work one single crochet in each of the next two double crochet stitches. So if you have to pull your stitches back so you can see the top of that first double crochet, insert under the top two loops, work a single crochet. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. So now we're going to double crochet in the next corresponding double crochet two rounds below in round seven. You're going to yarn over, you're going directly underneath the chain one space, you're going down two rounds, one, two, to that corresponding double crochet, insert under the top two loops of that stitch, and you're working your stitch right around the chain one and into that stitch yarn over, pull through that stitch, and again you're going right around the chain one space above, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through two loops. You just made your double crochet. Now it's going to bend this stitch down, so make sure you look at your stitch, and we're going to single crochet into the top of the next double crochet onto the current row. So insert into the next double crochet, again going under the top two loops, work a single crochet. And we're just going to repeat the double crochet, single crochet across the side of your work. Yarn over, you're going to drop down two rounds below, one, two, to that corresponding double crochet stitch underneath the chain one insert into the top two loops and you're going to work a double crochet. Single crochet into the next double crochet of the current row. Yarn over, we're going to drop down two rounds to the next corresponding double crochet two rounds below, one, two to round seven. Insert under the top two loops, you're going right underneath that chain one space as well, and work your double crochet. Single crochet into the next double crochet of the current round. I might have said row before, so sorry about that. Yarn over, insert into the next corresponding double crochet two rounds below, directly underneath that chain one space, work a double crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch of the current row. Yarn over, drop down two rounds and double crochet into that next double crochet underneath the chain one space. Single crochet into the next stitch of the current row. And then we're going to double crochet into the double crochet two rounds below underneath that chain one space. and then single crochet. And what I do is I pull my work over with my fingers so I can get right underneath the top of that stitch of the current row, work a single crochet. Double crochet into the next corresponding double crochet underneath that chain one space, work a double crochet. Single crochet into the top of the next double crochet of the current row, Double crochet into the next corresponding double crochet two rounds below, one, two, underneath the chain one space. Single crochet into the next stitch of the current row. We're almost to the end, so I'm just going to go ahead and work right across with you. Double crochet into the next double crochet below the chain one space, two rounds below. 
single crochet into the top of the double crochet of the current row double crochet two rounds below underneath the chain one space in that double crochet stitch single crochet into the top of the next double crochet of the current row double crochet into the next double crochet two rounds below directly underneath that chain one space single crochet into the top of the next double crochet of the current row yarn over double crochet into the next double crochet two rounds below underneath the chain one space work a double crochet single crochet into the next double crochet of the current row now when you get to the corner you're going to notice that you're missing a stitch that we are missing another double crochet that we need to finish the pattern so how you end this pattern across is we're going to work our double crochet into the same stitch as this double crochet stitch here so you're going to yarn over you're going to double crochet into the same double crochet underneath the chain one space that this double crochet is worked so you're going right to the base of that same double crochet two rounds below so just follow it down and work that double crochet into that same stitch now we're going to single crochet in each of the next two double crochet of the current row insert into the top of that next double crochet of the current row single crochet single crochet into the next stitch and that is the end of the repeat so let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what you just done so if you need help just click back on the video you're going to start where we work the single crochet chain two single crochet repeat that from the start of the repeat to the end of the repeat around the remaining three sides and i'll meet you at the end of round nine I'm over at the end of round nine. This is what your block should look like. And when you get to the end of the round, you should have ended with making sure you put that double crochet stitch into that same stitch as that other double crochet. And then one double crochet in each of those last two double crochet stitches. So we're going up and we're going to join into that beginning single crochet. So let me zoom up a little more. You want to make sure that you skip that beginning chain one. You want to go over here and go underneath the top two loops of that beginning single crochet. And we're just going to slip stitch, yarn over, pull through that single crochet, and pull through the loop on your hook. So now I'm going to fasten off my red gold. We're done with that color. And we're going to switch back to our cream and gold and we're going to put our last round on our block and then your block will be finished so let me grab my cream and gold and I'll be right back to do round 10 so now we're ready to begin round 10 I already have my yarn attached to my hook and I'm going up into the corner chain 2 space right where I fastened off but you can go in any chain 2 space it doesn't matter so I'm going to insert my hook into the corner chain 2 and slip stitch yarn over pull back through that chain 2 and pull through the loop on your hook and that just really gives you a nice secure attachment of your yarn we're going to begin with the chain 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 this beginning chain 5 is going to count as a double crochet plus a chain 2 so the first three chains is the double crochet and then the other two are the chain 2 we're going to work one more double crochet into the same corner chain two space yarn over insert back into that corner chain two and work a double crochet so now we're going to be working cross double crochet stitches across our work very easy to do you're going to yarn over you're going to skip the next stitch insert into the next stitch work a double crochet 
you're going to yarn over and you're going to come back to the skip stitch insert from front to back and work a double crochet into the stitch that you skipped and what that does is just creates a nice cross double crochet stitch and we're going to repeat that across to the next corner yarn over skip the next stitch insert into the next stitch work a double crochet yarn over come back to the skip stitch insert from front to back work a double crochet your cross double crochet is made yarn over skip the next stitch insert into the next work a double crochet yarn over come back to the skip stitch work a double crochet yarn over skip the next stitch double crochet into the next yarn over come back to your skip stitch insert from front to back work a double crochet it just gives a little more interest to your block and a different type of texture yarn over skip the next stitch double crochet into the next yarn over come back to the skip stitch work a double crochet yarn over skip the next stitch insert into the next stitch work a double crochet yarn over come back to the skip stitch insert from front to back work a double crochet yarn over skip the next stitch double crochet into the next yarn over come back to the front of your work insert into the skip stitch front to back work a double crochet yarn over skip the next stitch double crochet into the next yarn over come back to the skip stitch and work a double crochet you're going to skip the next stitch double crochet into the next come back and double crochet in the skip stitch skip the next stitch double crochet into the next come back and double crochet into the skip stitch skip the next stitch double crochet into the next come back and double crochet into the skip stitch skip the next stitch double crochet into the next we're almost over to our corner double crochet into the skip stitch skip the next stitch double crochet into the next come back and double crochet into the skip stitch a couple more to go skip the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the skip stitch skip the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch come back and double crochet into the skip stitch so now when you look at your work you're going to notice you have one single crochet remaining and we need two to make our cross stitch so we're going to work one more cross stitch but we're going to be working it right into the chain two space for that first half you're going to yarn over skip the next stitch insert into the corner chain two space work a double crochet yarn over come back insert into that skip stitch work a double crochet 
So that is the end of the repeat. Now I'm going to get you started on the other side because the starting is different. This is where we started the round, which is always different from the other three corners because we chained for that first stitch. So now I'm going to start the repeat here in this corner. So this is where you will start the repeat for the remaining sides of your block. So if you need help, then again, click back to this point of the video where we're starting in this corner. And you'll work until I say this is the end of the repeat. So let's begin. We're going to start in the corner chain two space. We already worked a stitch into that corner, but we're going to start here and we're going to work a double crochet, chain two, double crochet into the same corner chain two space. Yarn over, insert into that corner chain two space, work a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet all into that corner chain two space. So now we're just going to repeat what we did on this side, clear over to the corner. So let me get you started. Again, you're going to skip a stitch double crochet into the next stitch. Yarn over, come back to the skip stitch, insert from front to back and work a double crochet. Skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. Come back to the skip stitch, insert from front to back and work a double crochet. So I'll show you one more time and then you can continue across to the corner. You're going to yarn over, skip the next stitch, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet. Yarn over, come back to the skip stitch, insert from front to back, work a double crochet your cross stitch is made. So go ahead and work your cross stitches across to the next corner. I'll meet you there and show you how to finish your repeat. I'm over at my next corner. Again, you worked your cross stitches across and you'll have one single crochet remaining until you get to that corner chain two space. So we're going to yarn over, skip that next stitch, insert into the corner chain two space and work a double crochet. You're going to yarn over, come back, insert from front to back through that skip stitch, work a double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So let me zoom out. So if you need help, you click back on the video to where I say this is the start of the repeat and you're going to start here in your corner where you double crochet, chain two, double crochet, follow the instructions in the video, start at the corner and then work your cross double crochets across right over to the end where I say this is the end of the repeat and then you're going to do that around the remaining two sides and I'll meet you at the end of round 10. I'm over at the end of round 10. This is what your block should look like and now we're going to go up and join. So when you get to the end of the round you're going to notice that you have one stitch remaining. So this is a chain one in here. So there is only one stitch. So how you're going to end the round is you're going to yarn over, insert into that beginning corner chain two space. You're going to work a double crochet. You're going to yarn over, come back to that last stitch of the round, work a double crochet. And now all we have to do is join. Now we began with the chain five, so we only want to go in the third chain. So we're going to start down here and count up one, two, three, insert into that third chain of the beginning chain five and slip stitch. I'm going to fasten off my work. 
So our Christmas block is finished. This is what it looks like. Now all you have to do is make 23 more blocks. Now I'm making my afghan 4 by 6 If you want to make your afghan larger, then please remember you're going to have to order more yarn. So if you need help, click back on the video, follow it from the start to finish, and then just make 23 more blocks so you have a total of 24 blocks. I'll be posting part 2 in a couple days and then I'll show you how to put your blocks together and how to put that crocheted afghan border on your afghan. If you enjoyed this crochet tutorial please hit that like button and if you're not a subscriber please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the crochet fun. So until next time stay inspired and happy crocheting!